Hey guys, um, this video is basically going to show you how to um, turn your Windows Vista theme into a Windows 7 more looking theme, sort of like this. Um, hold on, give you a little bit more of an example. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, go to the link in my description. It'll be the John just x 89deviantartcom and this is the style for Vista. Um, you can um, look at the full view, or you can just go right to the download. It's the viruses, so you can just go to the download. Um, I've already got it, so I can go ahead and cancel this. But once it's downloaded, um, you want to open that up. It'll be uh, Windows 7 style for Vista. And you want to, you can go ahead and um, if you really. If you want to, you can just um, you can op you can drag this folder to the desktop, or you can just go to into the theme folder and copy all this. You can extract it or copy it or whatever. Extract, and you want to do to whatever your um main drive is, Windows resources themes. Okay. Um, once you have it extracted to there, you should be able to go into that folder with the themes. No, the folder with the themes, Windows, Resources, Themes, and you should be able to see the Windows Seven, the Windows Seven dot theme, and your README dot text. But you will, you don't need the README, so you can delete that. So the two main components that you need are the Windows Seven folder. In the Windows 7 dot theme file. Okay, you don't have. You can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and run this and hit apply. Well, I've already done it, but if if yours happens like mine did, um, it'll turn into the Windows Classic theme, and that's kind of a pain. Um. Others might not be so much of a problem. It could just go right to the theme and be good. But if it went to the classic theme, go ahead and uh, stay along with this video. Okay. Next, you want to go to my. You want to go to the um the link for uh, howtogeek.com. Hold on, I'm gonna open it up. Okay, and it should come up to this site, how to patch Windows Vista to enable custom themes. Um, then the first thing you want to do is go to this website. It says within Windows. It's under the first step within Windows. And go down to where it says Vista, Windows Vista. Um, if you don't have a service pack, you can go ahead and... Um, you can just get whatever you want. AMD 64 means 64 bit, and this is 32 bit. Um, if you don't, if you have Service Pack 1, go down to SP1 and get your version 32 bit or 64 bit. Download it, and when you when you're done downloading it, go ahead and open it and take all these three files right here, the DLL files, and drag them to the desktop. It should all be there. And the la and one more thing that you want to do is um go back to your internet browser. 